everyone, welcome back to Next Dental Retiree. I'm Tammy E, and today I have a Metaphysical Monday video. As you can see, I'm still in the process of planting. We have plants in the ground, but we still have seedlings we should have planted already. They might go directly in the ground. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I'm going to do half and half, see what I do, what happens. Um, I wanted to mention last time I showed a little pouch and it had my I think this was a Herkimer diamond, but I do know that they were doing um, type of quartz, Himalayan quartz, I want to say it is. Anyway, that's what's on this brooch, which is a nice little shawl pin. So that was what was in the bag with my April candle and the April mist. And I enjoyed those, as you can see, quite a bit last month. Um, so much so that I decided this month when they came out with the May, I haven't used it yet, this is May 2nd when I'm filming this, um, the month of May magic. So I have this and then um, they had this little incense burner that looks like a snake. He's kind of cute and I think he, I usually don't think snakes are cute, but this one's kind of cute. And um, so, I am going to be using this probably. Um, not so much as an incense burner because, oops, see, that's why. <laughs> it didn't quite go down straight like I wanted it to, or it's supposed to, but um, I do find that I can wedge it in here and get it kind of balanced against the snake mouth, and I probably could burn it that way. And I have that. I typically don't use these stick incense too much. So, but what I do like him for is he's a nice size that maybe would go with my fairy garden that I put up in the spring. So I might have him out for that. And I, I don't know, as snakes go, that one's cute. <laughs> I don't really like snakes, but I'll pretend he's a garter snake like we have in Wisconsin, which are not poisonous. So, okay. So with the May, we have a pyrite stone for meditation, which was like the stone last month in April. So I have that. Um, this month they were giving away enchanted perfume. I've not smelled it. I'm going to do that right now and maybe put a little on. We'll see. Anyway, and I had a lot of fun praying last month, and well, I don't know if it's fun, but I've been listening to the church, a Methodist church that I grew up in and was very active in for 25 years until I moved away from home and started my life and then moved back and stuff. And I was married in that church. Ooh, it's really good. It's enchanted. So... So I have enough on there. Close it. I'm going to go one, two, three for where I go. What do I listen to? So I always do a sign of the cross there. I do a sign of the cross on my legs. And I'm going to do that again. Anyway, and that's how I put perfume on since I started listening to Sage Goddess, but I have a Christian, very Christian swing on things, so um, I never stepped away. I just learned about what Wiccans do and so on because my children had friends that were kind of following that path and, uh, you know, want to kind of know and try to steer my children in the path I think is right, but, you know, they choose their own paths, and hopefully they'll find this one again. Anyway, um, and I, I think they do, kind of, I don't, you know, I, I don't know, I think, you know, I, my daughter still believes, and my son, 
I don't know. They, they're just, I don't know. My son, I think, does too. I, I don't know. He, I don't know. They're a little, I don't know. They just haven't found a church yet. And my daughter has looked, but, you know, it's a nice story. Anyway, I don't want to get into that right now. I'm going to show you the other thing that I got, because I do like to think about the moon and pray with during the moon and acknowledge the beauty of the moon. And so um, I got uh, for next year, because I have a little candle that I've been using um, for meditations. Uh, I got one for full moon. And I'm going to save that for next year, 2025. But they had them, and so I wanted to make sure I could get them when I could. Okay, so I'll be saving that for then. And then I also have a dark moon candle. And I have candle holders for these, and it'll be fun. I'm going to use these in 2025. And the dark moon and you know you take these off when you use them so that's what I've got there and I'll put that here and this pillow here too and then I have something else that I bought this month and that is No, I mean to show you one thing that I bought in March. I don't think I ever showed it to you. I don't, I know I didn't, but I don't think it came until April, so. And this is supposed to be a smoky quartz, but it sure doesn't look like one. From what I'm looking at, I don't know. Maybe it's just this paper is, or the cell veins giving a blueness to it. It's really strange. It's supposed to be brown. <laughs> it's supposed to be smoky quartz, so. And I didn't have one of these. And it gave, you know, she always sends what properties the Smoky Quartz has. And this one is uh, mostly for protection. Uh, purifies Smoky Quartz, uh, purifies places, spaces, and auras, and it's a protective stone. So, and it says a little more, but that's basically it. And this is. A little pillar. Yeah, that looks like that. Isn't that gorgeous? It has a little, they often have a little bit of a scarfing to them, but you know, I can hold it up to the light and I, you know, let's see if I can see. It's a little translucent. It's so dense that you can't see it, but I can see it on the bottom. You can see some of that beauty there shining through. Anyway, so, and like um, wherever you might need protection, you would, you know, to bring it in, you'd go like this, which I need that there. <laughs> Protective thoughts. Ooh, it feels good on my forehead today. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, you know, and it's more a root chakra. I had a ring, and so I'm going to, you know, like edited that out and then Hopefully I've edited that out and then I have, and maybe this. Anyway, so it's a root chakra stone, I do believe. But anyway, you use it towards you and then it, you know, the healing energy comes in. That's how these are used in healing. But it's also, you know, it kind of brings it into the environment to those properties. That's what it's supposed to do if you believe in them, you know. I believe in God, but I think, you know, God might use tools. I don't know. Um, I still think God made the stone and uh, I enjoy the beauty. So, and he made the people that made this and crafted this to um, have it shine the way it does. And it's fun to meditate with things like this and just think uh, it sparks the imagination sometimes, um, sparks the imagination. So, and it, it does make me feel calmer sometimes to hold something like this. So that is why I have them. One more beautiful thing that is the 
best of all, I think. Ooh, that was something. I went to go and find this little gem, which I thought was, whoops, back there. And I'm all kerfuffled, kerfuffled or whatever you want to say. I thought it was back there, or back there back there <laughs> and it wasn't and it's because my grandson who likes to get into stuff I thought got into it and played with it and it was lost and oh it was not good because I'm not feeling the greatest lately I've got a headache I couldn't I could only plant four little blueberries yesterday I'm so out of shape I'm working at it though I'm gonna keep working at it I think the gardening is the greatest thing on earth for me really but I just have to do it really slowly. And we wanted to get strawberries in and impatience in that we had. So my husband ended up having to do a few of the things, but it's okay because we're working on the garden together and that's kind of nice. But uh, anyway, I just haven't been feeling the greatest today either. So actually I was feeling fine. And then I started, I took a shower and then started moving around and, and I don't know. Anyway, and it's warm. This is warm. <laughs> it's not really a day I need this, but if I did need it, it would be nice. <laughs> but I did it for, you know, filming purposes. And actually it was a little chillier when I started, but anyway, to get back to this, isn't this cute? This is an indicolite pendant and I have not ever looked at it, which is why I was kind of like, ah. Uh, I'm never going to see this thing. But here it is. It's just a sweet little, very delicate. No, you'll be able to see. It's very delicate, little light blue. You know, kind of like one of my favorite bluey green colors. And I'll take that out so you can see it in the light. That looks like this. See? Isn't that pretty? So you can see it a little bit closer. That's indicolite, which is a type of tourmaline but in that blue green color and you know they always give the little sage so I've got that there and uh, now I'm going to put this in my room officially and getting ready to wear it and I will be wearing it soon for you on a future video hopefully not today I'm not doing any more videos today anyway if you like this video which Believe me, I filmed a part that I'm glad I didn't have to keep up because I'm glad I found this. <laughs> anyway, if you like this video, don't forget to put the thumbs up button. Please do subscribe to my channel. And until next time. Oh, and I'm so glad my grandson didn't get a hold of this for many reasons because I like to keep him safe for, first and foremost, but also because, yeah, I... This was kind of a treat for me. <laughs> I, I am at a point where now I'm just going to do the fine jewelry thing again. But uh, yeah, anyway, I don't even need jewelry. Just what my husband gives me from now on. Anyway, so, and I got some nice little spoils last Christmas. So that was nice. And one really, really, really good one. On, I think it was my birthday. Yeah. On my birthday so it's pretty neat anyway and my husband has spoiled me with nice jewelry over the years <sighs> so you know nice for our economic socioeconomic class nice I don't feel deprived I do feel deprived because I can't do things like I used to do. And that makes, that's got nothing to do with anyone. I just kind of sometimes, today was one of them. I've been feeling kind of low and, uh, anyway, some of these things make me feel better. And, you know, I even dress up when I just am staying home all the time, most of the time. But. It is summer and I do get out of the house around about a little bit. And, you know, I do once in a while get out. And uh, I've been feeling better in other ways. So hopefully I can go to dinner a few times this summer and enjoy my life a little bit more. That's my goal. I'm going to keep going at it. And uh, I am 
very excited about a lot of different things that will be going on in my creative life. And so, you know, it's good. It's just sometimes I have moments that oh, I don't like myself very much either. <laughs> I don't think anyone, I'm hard to live with then. But I think we all do. I guess we're home. I'm human like everybody else, but I don't like that human side. Ah. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not. And I make lots of different videos. I'm a variety channel. And uh, about once a month I'm going to do metaphysical things, but I'm not always going to be doing uh, things where I bought things. I may talk about Bible scripture. I might talk about um, weird kind of psychic experiences that I had or ghostly type stories. And I do have one that I'm going to have to write now because something came up that eh, just blew my mind <laughs> in my genetic research. And so I'm going to write a story, you know, um, a short story. And I don't know if it'll ever be included in a book, but it could be. But anyway... <laughs> Anyway, so oh, I've always got something I have to write. <laughs> so I might do that one in longhand and then write it on paper. Yeah, because there's a reason. I'll explain why soon. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. So until next time, thanks for watching and God bless.